to all my people that's been lost, right? You feel like you've been uh, living life lost on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Family abandoning you, things of that nature. See, we've been programmed not to really understand our gifts and our power. You feel me? Everything has been a, a systematic ploy to destroy us, black people especially. You got to really understand what's happening in the psyche when you listen to certain rap music. Now, hip hop, for example, at one point wasn't really about what it is now. Money, clothes, hoes, bitches, fucking all of this shit. Drinking, clubbing, killing each other. Shoot a nigga in the head dead, you feel me? It wasn't always like that. And there's a reason for this. Because these frequencies, if the universe and God operates on a certain frequency, heat, uh, ice, smoke, all of these things operate on certain frequencies, right? Then you don't honestly think that they understand. If they know all this, you and they understand hip hip hypnosis. They understand... Uh, MK Ultra, mind control slaves. They understand how to program you. And a lot of this comes with trauma. So you honestly don't think that they can create songs that carry certain vibrational frequencies that can lower your frequency and make you subjectable towards inception of self-hate, of sin, of the devil, of this negative energy. Yes, they can, bro. Like the game is deep. And when you understand that like people, for example, in your own family as a black man, when you coming up, everybody fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I don't care if this person was on pills, crack, whatever. I don't care if they stole from me. I don't care if they was a murderer. It's like, it's certain levels of love that when you walk in with complete love, you can embrace any situation with patience and understanding. Stop being beneath your life experiences because you will never fucking evolve. Now, moving forward, a lot of our families, we hold grudges. I mean, I even had experiences coming up as a kid where in the household, it's like 11 of us, right? 12 of us or something. And um, my mom, her two sisters, like, you know what I mean? We all different shades. Some of them yellow, caramel. I'm, I'm clearly one of the blackest, you feel me? And like, they would literally call us the brown skins and shit. You can hear it in music, you know what I mean? Chris Brown, for example, singing about being light-skinned black, shit like that. It's like it's subconscious programming. It's that house nigga shit, you feel me? If you really understand historically that they got you fighting your brother to the death, dog. You feel me? Like, in the house. This is spiritual and emotional and cultural, historical programming. You feel me? You got the black woman on the white man, dick. You feel me? With the government check. The black man, we take away his opportunities, throw drugs in there. They come from broken homes and slavery. So they probably ain't got too many opportunities or even know how to even begin creating them. You feel me? Everybody in their family has shit on their dreams, kept them logical. You know what I'm saying? It ain't love. It ain't no fucking forgiveness. There's separatism. They giving in to these ideologies. You feel me? And like, this is the fucking problem. And then you destroy the bloodline because we never discover love. It's a disgusting trait to see in people. It's, it's saddening. You feel me? And it's sad to see in our people, but it's because they've been programming us, man. And it comes with symbols. It comes with words. It comes with definitions and, and hundreds of years of fucking reinforcement. This shit has been going on for thousands of years, man. The, one of the greatest galactic war tactics is divide and conquer. So when you awaken a certain truth, like, okay, my family has never even created a dream. They never thought a certain way. When you know that you see life different, you can't even talk to people in your family. Because you gonna look crazy. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I've been homeless too, man. I, I didn't miss meals. I'm still missing them motherfuckers. I ain't working for nobody ever again. And I still help people. And for free, dog. Like, so I, I know the struggle. But I also know walking in spirit. And I also see life completely different. This is how I can gauge somebody else's knowing their power, right? And their walk with love and faith, man. Like, the Bible... It's allegory, but there are a lot of principles you can actually apply to real life if you really know what you're reading and looking at. This is a fact. This is basically a fucking grimoire. You just got to dissect this motherfucker. Anyway, moving forward, the bottom line is, and that's another form of oppression right there, to program a motherfucking black man to think that white Jesus is God. Subconsciously, you're going to look at every fucking white person that they advertise as superior as actually superior because you've been programmed, docile, trained, bro. Like, come on, man. The game of life is different. You wonder how a motherfucker can put you on your own street, how your family can kill you, right? This is the type of shit I come from. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? When you got gangster family, but then these same hoe ass motherfuckers, they'll snitch on you for the $1,000. I've seen this shit. They'll snitch on you for the $1,000, right? 
And, but they're gangster, though. They'll kill you, though. Nigga, you a rat. Yeah, it's all type of killers. You feel me? You got to, anybody can kill. A kid to kill. I don't care what, what nation, what sexuality, what belief. Anybody can kill. I get that. The problem is, when it comes to our own family, we've been trained to hate, divide, conquer, and kill each other, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you got people who will kill you when you create a dream, but they never fucking supported it. <laughs> like, we got people that just, you know, they, 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 they don't know how to give with good intentions. They, they love, right? They say they love you and they say they're giving out of love, but really they're giving so they can get a hand up when you make it type shit. I've experienced things where I've had nothing and Miss Mills, nobody could give me gifts. But when I was winning in sports and shit, all of a sudden motherfuckers want to send me gifts. This is my black family. This is probably yours. Probably your white family. Your Mexican family. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all feel alone, but you ain't alone. You're awoke. And it's those who suffer who are really the light bringers. You are the motherfuckers who are supposed to be healing people. You're empathetic, you're compassionate, you're experienced, you're wise, and if you actually extract the seeds of evolution, right, you can evolve. You can straight up evolve. Because we, there was a purpose for your suffering. You ain't found a passion and you ain't found a purpose. At this point, you still hurting. But you know, like, you know deep in your soul that I'm right about this shit. You know deep in you can see the Mr. Smiths all around you. You feel me, the programs. You can see how every time you created a dream, Somebody tried to keep your ass logical. You got a felony. You're a black man. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you used to be a drug addict. They probably can pull that up. You got kids. You got bills. You got child support. You got court. You know what I'm saying? Your family has been programmed to kill your dreams. And when you recognize that, and recognize that they never even fucking created one, when you recognize that these same people, some of them will actually fucking kill you when you make it because you don't want to bring their evil ass with you, try to destroy what you built by yourself, you really understand the program. And you're gonna view the life that you live in the world differently. And this is just one level of my perception. This is one level of my perception of people's programming. But if you really think about what I'm telling you, does it make sense? Does it fucking make sense, bro? <clears throat> it's all types of ways to train animals, y'all see that. They got classes, right, where you can build your own ecosystem, a fucking universe, bro. Come on, bro. You don't think that the higher-ups, these really wealthy, who have been connected for thousands of years, ain't put some shit together to control everybody, bro? Come on. It's the reason a certain percent, a very small percent, runs everything. You feel me? <clears throat> it's systematic oppression. It's systematic genocide. And what it is, is it's a silent genocide. They figured out a way to keep people in hell by selling y'all you know, dumbass catchphrases that program your fucking mind. Home of the great, home of the brave. Let's make America great again. Are we? <clears throat>